20 years ago, Pastor Mrs. Folu Adeboye, wife of the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God, alongside other great women and men of God, convened the first Feast of Esther Conference, which brings together great women of God across the globe to strengthen and empower them to do God's work. Since inception, the Feast of Esther has enjoyed God's mercy and love. 20 years of divinely orchestrated partnerships and commitment to developing ministry skills in women at the forefront for nation building and heaven consciousness. Hallelujah. We are already in the feast mood. We can smell it in the air. Feast 2021, marking the 20 years of Feast of Esther is starting. And I want to invite you, come and join us you will receive an excessive blessings of the Almighty God because our God is a God of multiplication and He will make sure He bless you beyond your widest imagination. And I'm asking you, bring your friends, those who are heading ministries, general overseers' wives, and those whom you know that have little, little, even little, little ministries we would like you to come and enjoy the blessings of the Almighty God. This one will be an exemplary one. Come and have your greatest impact. Date, Wednesday 21st to Friday 23rd of April 2021. Venue, the Redemption Camp, Kilometer 46, Lagos Ibado Expressway, Nigeria. Theme, make full proof of your ministry. Chief Hostess, Pastor Mrs. Fonu Adeboye. To register, visit www.feastofesther.org. And please, don't forget, we are making full proof of our ministry. That is the theme for this year's conference. You are invited. God bless you. Feast of Esther, in the kingdom for such a time like this. Be the glory, blessings he has done unto the Lord. Be the glory, blessings he has done unto the Lord. Be the glory, blessings he has done unto the Lord. Be the glory, blessings. He has done ah, for 20 years of Feast of Esther. 20 years of the Feast of Esther. To him be the glory and honor forever and ever. Come with me. Celebrate with us now. The Lord has been so good for this chronicle year. The vision was given by God himself 20 years ago. And what happened was that I was just studying the book of Esther as the normal study of the Bible. And my attention was drew to how Esther got his demand made from the king by throwing a party or making a feast for the king. And I said, what a wisdom. As I was meditating on it, that this queen got what she wanted by throwing a feast. And he got his, she got her people saved through that wisdom God gave her. I now said something must be happening. I started meditating. And then the Holy Spirit just told me, why don't you start something you call Feast of Esther? Ah, I said Feast of Esther. Who are the people who are going to come for the feast? I meditated on this for almost a week. And finally, I got a clue that the Esthers of our own generation can be celebrating the feast, which implies bringing the general overseer's wives together, then the women who has their own ministry, who have their own ministries, general overseers, women, 
wives of head of ministries. And I was thinking, I'm so small among them. Am I the Oza is here? Other people are there who had been in the ministry before we even came in. How am I going to bring these people together? <clears throat> Finally, when I could not rest, I shared it with my husband. And he said, when the time comes, God will help you. For six years, I was battling. Then before then, I now called one or two of my children. Mrs. Walioke was one of them. From 2002, Mama shared the vision. Uh, no, no, she shared the vision in 2000. And Feast of Esther commenced in 2002. So I was part of it from the onset. And to the glory of God, I'm still part of it. I've learned so much from Mama. You know, Mama Deboya is a visionary leader very humble and uh, the woman that loves people. There are five attributes that I've learned from this woman's life and that has to do with initiatives. She's a woman of initiatives, a, a woman of faith. You know, just like the Bible says in Hebrews 11, verse 1, that without faith it's impossible to place that in life. And not only that, Mama has been very courageous. If God has said anything, she's ready to go the way, you know, the extra mind to do it. And not only that, I see her as a mentor, a good mentor, a woman that leads by example. And not only that, I see a woman who values, you know, whatever God tells her, she's ready to die for it. I said, God is telling me something. So they kept on, yearly, they kept on reminding me, Mommy, when are you starting this? I said, please. <laughs> I, had enough, I have enough for in RCCG to battle with. How much more of bringing general overseers, wives of other ministries together? Who am I among them? For six years. Then, general overseer now said, that vision must not be forgotten. Go and start doing something. <sighs> I started fasting and praying again. Then I went to the then president for the PFM, the, the one who succeeded my husband, Bishop Okonko. I had an appointment with him and I shared the vision. He jumped at it. I said, what is this? And I thought he would reject it. <sighs> Then he was, he was jubilating that we've been looking for somebody who will take care of the women wing. Ah, I said, you have not seen anybody. I, I just, he prayed with me and I left his office. He said, any assistant you want? And you see PFN and addresses all over Nigeria, we will give you. Thank God. We were just doing everything step by step with God. And the only thing that made it to happen is the assurance that God is in it. And that was God who said, go and start the feast. If not, I wouldn't have done anything. But I can see his hand in it. Year by year, he has been supporting the feast. Most especially, it will be the one who will dictate the theme for the year. And every year, the women had always been saying, ah, ah, Mommy, how did you get this? I said, it's God, only I'm not the one. So that was how the vision started 20 years ago. We started with about 200 women who struggled. <laughs> we sent mail all over this nation. It wasn't an easy thing. But finally, we started with about 200 women. That's how the vision started. And then we made our motto to be Esther chapter 4, verse 14. After Esther 4, 14, maybe the, the message Mordecai sent to Esther, you are in the kingdom for such a time like this. And that has been our motto up to now. Twenty years ago, 
Pastor Mrs. Folu Adeboye, wife of the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God, alongside other great women and men of God, convened the first Feast of Esther Conference, which brings together great women of God across the globe to strengthen and empower them to do God's work. Since inception, the Feast of Esther has enjoyed God's mercy and love. 20 years of divinely orchestrated partnerships and commitment to developing ministry skills in women at the forefront for nation building and heaven consciousness. Hallelujah. We are already in the feast mood. You can smell it in the air. Feast 2021, marking the 20 years of Feast of Esther is starting. And I want to invite you, come and join us you will receive an excessive blessings of the Almighty God because our God is a God of multiplication and He will make sure He bless you beyond your widest imagination. And I'm asking you, bring your friends, those who are heading ministries, general overseers, wives, and those whom you know that have little, little, even little, little ministries we would like you to come and enjoy the blessings of the Almighty God. This one will be an exemplary one. Come and have your greatest impact. Date, Wednesday 21st to Friday 23rd of April 2021. Venue, the Redemption Camp, Kilometer 46, Lagos Ibadan Expressway, Nigeria. Theme, make full proof of your ministry. Chief Hostess, Pastor Mrs. Folu Adeboye. To register, visit www.feastofesther.org. And please, don't forget, we are making full proof of our ministry. That is the theme for this year's conference. You are invited. God bless you. Feast of Esther, in the kingdom for such a time like this. Esther was the one whom God used to save the Israelites, and if God is seeking for us, who are we not to answer? Now what God says is sought for a man who will bridge the gap. I said the first thing to have is to do for people who will answer this call. And those are the ones the vision is for general versus And God has got us.